years. Um, you know, according to, you know, what you've been able to gather from, you know, this uh, whole period that we've been following up on this examination results, what is the feeling of Kenyans about this? Do they now feel like this is going to be, you know, a time when we'll have credible examination results, you know, take into consideration, uh, you know, the measures that he put in place and really followed through to the latter? Well, it's hard to say how this will go and what the performance will look like. Uh, remember, in August, uh, uh, President Uru Kenyatta assented uh, to the Kenya National Examinations Amendment Bill, in which reintroduced the ranking of schools. Uh, the ranking was banned in 2014 by the then Cabinet Secretary, uh, Professor Jacob Kaimeni. Mm -hmm. And the argument uh, behind this was when it was moved uh, before Parliament uh, by Kiminini MP Chris Wamalwa, he was arguing that since the ranking of schools was abolished, uh, schools don't feel pressured to uh, do their best. And so he was arguing it was uh, supported overwhelmingly in Parliament but with the argument that, uh, you know, if there is ranking of schools, uh, schools, uh, pupils, parents will push them uh, to do their best so that they, they come out among the best. But uh, this ranking was to be introduced uh, this year but so far, Matiangi, who was meant to come up with the regulations to ensure that the ranking of schools uh, takes place, has not yet introduced those regulations. So perhaps no ranking will be done this year. Maybe the ranking will begin uh, with the class of uh, 2017. So we will wait to see how this one goes. Matiangi, his reforms, uh, starting way back when he joined the ministry, remember he, he started by disbanding the Kenya National Examinations Council Board later made the national examinations a national security issue. This means that it became a multi-sectoral uh, issue. The exams they brought in the Ministry of uh, Interior Security, it brought, brought in the Ministry of uh, uh, Communications, of course the Ministry of Education, so all the ministries. In fact, security has been a big issue uh, mm. this time around. This exam is seen as the most guarded in yeah. history, in the country's history. So we'll wait to hear uh, what... Uh, now, we're going to see what the exam results will look like, Betty. Uh, Rita, I'm curious, uh, now that you're at the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, who is there? Because, you know, like you mentioned, normally you'd have, you know, head teachers of different schools, you know, you know, attend this event. It would actually be such a big event. So I'm wondering, now that it's such a surprise, you know, everybody has been caught off guard, who is there to receive this result? Is it going to be just a press briefing, um, you know, when he gives the results and leaves? Is it going to be, you know what we've been able to see in the last you know years where it's actually an event with uh, you know key stakeholders present even right now there are key stakeholders some head teachers the union officials mm -hmm. kenya national union of uh, teachers officials are here uh, education ministry officials there are those who are called observers those who have an interest in the education system in the country, all seated. It's being done at what they call the Simba Auditorium. That auditorium right now nearly full. Mm. So we'll wait to see and hear what uh, Matiangi uh, will have to say this time round. Uh, these exams are based on what uh, was an audit of previous exams. Mm. And this is what then influenced the regulations that he has put in place. Uh, the issue of the, the changing of the term dates, of course, was not received well by many people. We saw mm. riots, we saw unrest in schools when uh, this happened. And Betty, in the social media, there has been a lot of uh, jokes about Matiangi's uh, decision to change the that term date. Mm -hmm. uh, students, pupils at home for two months. And the argument on the social media is that uh, uh, children are getting to a lot of mischief. And many are asking through those jokes that he, can someone tell Matiangi uh, mm -hmm. uh, children are at home for too long. Betty. <laughs> All right. Have you been able to speak to uh, some of the key stakeholders that you're talking about, the head teachers? What, you know, what, what are they saying? What are their sentiments about this uh, uh, different uh, break from tradition? Uh, we haven't been able to speak to anyone right now. Remember, this was impromptu. Mm. This caught everyone off guard. Um, actually, we have just gotten here uh, based on what I can see before mm. me on this auditorium. We have not been able to speak uh, uh, to anyone, even those who are here, everyone, uh, those arriving, everyone is looking for directions. Like, where is this happening? Where is the room? Where is the uh, event taking place? Before, at the Kenya National Examinations Council, it was known. The tents were outside, and the high table for the cabinet secretary and her education officials was uh, where it was. You just get there and know this mm -hmm. is happening here. It has always happened here. But right now here at the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, no one knows what is going on. 
Uh, okay. There's actually someone at the gate now directing people. This is the way you, you go look for the Simba Auditorium, Betty. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Rita Tinina. We'll be talking to you again in a few minutes. Remember that uh, we are reporting that uh, the CS for Education, Dr. Fred Matiangi, is uh, today releasing results of this year's Kenya Certificate of Primary School Education Examinations, KCPE. Now, it is the first time that the results are being released before Christmas, as tradition has always been. This year, results also see the reintroduction of ranking of schools and candidates that uh, had been banned by former CS Jacob Kaimenyi. This year's examinations have also been done under tighter invigilation regime to cab cheating. So that is a story that we're keeping a close eye on here. We understand that that uh, release of the examination results is supposed to be taking place at 11.30 and therefore we will be uh, still just focusing on that to see um, you know, how this unfolds. For now though, let me bring in Andiwa Obondo, who's an education specialist, to talk to us about this. Thank you so much, Andiwa, for joining us. He's joining us by way of phone. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this unconventional way that you know the CS, you know, is um, at to, to to release the examinations today, impromptu. Thank you, thank you.